Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining. Um, in this video we'll show you the Acros Center setup between Windows and um, my DeX. What Acros allows you is to use one set of peripherals, as you can see here, just a mouse and a keyboard, and then you can control multiple devices with one, um, with one set of peripherals. The way it works, um, your, when you have Acros Center server running on your Windows and you have one of these connected, which is a Bluetooth USB adapter, this is by Asus. And when I plug this in into my Windows PC, Windows PC becomes like a Bluetooth device where then I can take Samsung DeX and connect to my computer as I would connect uh, Android phone to any Bluetooth device, would it be a keyboard and a mouse or Bluetooth headsets and etc. And then obviously using Acros server on the Windows side and Acros client on my DeX, I will be able to um, control two devices, Windows and my DeX, with one keyboard and a mouse uh, combo. I am using Pixel 1 to record this video, so I would like to apologize once again about the the sound quality and you uh, once or once once or twice or uh, once or twice or more a couple of times um, it's gonna go out of focus so apologies about it I'm just um, uh, don't have anything else how to set this up and, and demo this this setup for you so let's start as you can see in front of you is the website by Acros and what you need to do you need to go to download section and download the server uh, I'm using Acros basic on my windows so you need to choose uh, which one you want. You want to download multilingual version or English version. Uh, I downloaded English version and already installed on my machine. When you install Acros on your machine, you need to plug this USB uh, device into a side of your computer. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to plug that in. So that's plugged in. Uh, let's go back to my Windows 10 machine and again like I said apologize about autofocus and all this stuff so that's connected uh, next thing what you will need to do you need to restart the computer because during the after you installing the Acro server it will ask you do you want to restart I chose no and then uh, I plugged everything in and then I restart the machine so give me two seconds I'll bring the Acro center into focus so here we are. This is the window uh, you will get. Uh, hopefully you can see. Here we go. And it's at the beginning it's gonna feel like it's too much settings and it's a bit hard to understand what's going on. But when everything is fine and you have everything connected correctly, first thing you need to check if the Bluetooth icon and it says on. If it says on, everything is great. Otherwise, uh, you've done something wrong. And under uh, um, access enabled make sure it's, uh, it click enable so what I need to do now I'm gonna go on to my decks uh, on the side and I'm using the trackpad I'm gonna click scan and same time on a PC I'm gonna click pairing and now gives you about a minute which is counting down from 60 seconds for each device to detect so I'm just gonna leave it running um, connection not always happening straight away is sometimes um, at the first setup it's, it can be a bit uh, jerky but um, it should detect it should detect so we're gonna see what's happening uh, I'm checking on my decks if it's detected the uh, PC side at the moment no it's not detected the PC side yet I tried this setup uh, in office uh, when uh, I realized, well, one of my viewers mentioned this setup quite a while ago and I totally forgot about it. And a couple of days ago, I was looking through Reddit and this uh, software popped up again. Um, people were asking how to get this working, etc. And the software popped up again. Okay, uh, this is not connecting. Let's try again. Like I said, it is a bit jerky sometimes to get it running. What I'll do meanwhile, I'm gonna go to to a Windows 10 settings just to see if the uh, Bluetooth is being picked up. As you can see, it's been picked up. 
okay it's detecting a lot of devices and these all devices will be uh, shared using an across server across center server to to basically get it working um, let me have a quick look okay right detected it says mr. P I'll click on there and now it says right so under there I was looking for my computer name which is mr. P and when I found it I clicked and it says is that the number is that the real right number I'm gonna say yes and on a dex I'm gonna click OK so now the connection happened now it says which device you just connect is a desktop laptop smartphone tablet PC tablet PC 2 or smart phone landscape portrait I'm just gonna say that I connected the smartphone uh, smartphone and let's leave it as a Galaxy Note 9 click OK so right now it's connected so now I have an option where this device is located is it above on the left on the right or below I'm gonna take Note 9 I'm gonna say it is on the right hand side and it gives me options do I want a, a related coordinate mouse absolute coordinating coordinate mouse and etc I'm just gonna leave as a default and click OK so that's it there and I'll click apply so when it's done, I need to go to a DEX. I need to go to a DEX. So give me two seconds. Let me move my camera. And on DEX, I need to go into a Google Play Store and download Acros Client. I have already downloaded Acros Client and started. So if I click Open, you go. It gives me um, just a, a simple settings. And one of them is says Acros uh, Server Selected. Selection Mr. P, that's fine. Operation, I'm just gonna click on. And now under status, it says Bluetooth not connected. Boom, Bluetooth is connected. So right now DEX is connected to my Windows 10 PC via this Bluetooth adapter, which I connected previously. So now everything is connected. And hopefully, if I'm gonna leave like this, now you should be able to see that mouse is there and I'm gonna move it back and now mouse is there move it back mouse here move back let me actually move the uh, this way so right now one mouse I'm moving mouse on the right hand side on Dex and I'm shifting to there it appears on the screen moving there appears on the screen let me somehow show it to all of you who don't believe it yet I'm trying to find something that I can use as a as a handheld um, handheld mouse pad so what I'll do I'm gonna use this old De uh, Nexus tablet that uh, has been damaged and it's not working so right now as you can see I'm moving a mouse and that's where the mouse point is so I'm moving a mouse and now it's there if I move back it's there so well if you don't believe yet you watching the wrong channel so across server and across client as I said in the beginning, it's gonna look a bit of hard to set it up. But if you'll follow instructions, what the Acro server presenting to you that after installation you need to restart and plug this and etc., everything will be fine. You check the Acros website because they're mentioning some of their some of their Bluetooth adapters that are not working with their setup. The adapter that I am using, I'll leave in the description below the adapter serial number and etc. And uh, hopefully I will find the link where you can go and purchase something like that. And this is working fine. Um, free version gives you 30 minutes of use. After that, you basically have no, uh, the connection is basically you losing the connection after 30 minutes. If you look on the website and if I go back to the website and the store, uh, the pricing is not that bad to be honest across for Windows as you can see is only 549 here in Great Britain so five and a half pounds for one year license to use this kind of setup and then uh, after you can obviously uh, license extension uh, I think this is basically after one year you paying only four pounds um, to extend the license for 550 a year I would say it's quite a good price and if you um, you want to use something like uh, this kind of setup um, it's, it's probably one of the best options out there 
obviously I uh, just realized I showed you the mouse options but now I'm gonna try to show you the keyboard so if I'm gonna go here and if I'll open my browser oops let's open again so right now I'm gonna take the keyboard and I'm gonna start pressing as you I hope you can see the numbers appearing here so if I'll delete this and I'm gonna type Google Google enter or GG <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I think this keyboard is naked. Yeah, uh, letter O is stopped working. And I know why a letter O stopped working. Because trial is expired. I was messing around with this software before and sadly the trial is expired. And inside the website it says some of the keyboard keys will stop functioning after the trial is expired. Unless, well, still I can show you with the just uh, let's say these letters so I'm punching these two letters and as you can see I'm pressing K and L and they are popping up there if I go back to Windows and if I'll create a new text document which is where is the text document okay it's appeared on my another monitor let's bring this back in here and now let's go back here I'm gonna press the same keys it's working here if we go back to the DEX deleting everything on DEX control A delete K, 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 enter go back to Windows keyboard working between two devices and sadly this expiring trial ended and that's why some of the keys stopped working as it mentioned in the website after the trial trial uh, you go uh, after 30 minutes mouse works without any limitations but when you input keyboard to the client device with the trial version you will you will not be able to enter q w e i o p here you go uh so right all the links that you need to know i'll leave in the description below sorry about the audio quality and sometimes out of focus again i'm using the the other another smartphone to record these videos um this is quite a nifty setup if you have um, let's say a dual triple or quadruple monitor setup or windows but still you need to use DeX on the side DeX can be DeX screen can be as your fifth monitor or extra monitor for your setup and then using something like Acros setup you can basically bounce between two devices with not a problem without a problem and according uh, what you can see on Acros uh, setup you can have another three devices so you can have your Windows PC with multiple monitors you can have your decks on the right you have your I, I don't know MacBook uh, iPad I think on iPad oh yeah on iPad is working this works on iPad but not the mouse as you know Apple is a bit uh, funny about allowing mouse inputs <laughs> so mouse not gonna work but let's say you have a uh, windows dex tablet another smartphone another mac or something and you can have loads and loads of screens being controlled with just one mouse and keyboard peripherals so um thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below don't forget to click like all the links that you need to know i'll leave in the description below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye